Another key component that we can do for, say, we're talking about reuse. And that's one that's, you know, everybody has a standard parts library. You know, if we're pulling it from McMaster's, we're pulling it from Fastenal, or we're using our standard parts library that comes with our CAD product. Everybody, you know, goes in and pulls and saves. It has a, has a directory either on their local computer somewhere where they reuse standard parts. If you're using standard parts within Team Center, things become a little easier for you. As you create each one of your fasteners, so say I go ahead and pick a two inch washer. Okay, this particular two inch washer, I the system recognizes automatically that I've used this already. So down here I have a part number assigned to it. All I have to do is just place it into whatever assembly I'm working on. There's no extra you know, guessing it, you know, was it, did I create it once? Have I created it four times, five times? It already remembers that, hey, this particular configuration already exists. If I needed to go ahead and add in more component pieces, say I had one, you know, if I ever ran into, or if you, the way you have your structured, say you pick a washer that hasn't been created yet. The way this library works is you have two different options. You can generate many of the most commonly used, and let's say, standard parts ranging from bolts, nuts, washers, uh, eye pan fasteners, to structural items like channels, square tubing, rectangular tubing. Um, you can generate your most commonly used at the beginning and the onset when you set this up. That way the user isn't sitting here waiting for it to generate, or you can alleviate some of the pressure on the database and have the users generate their most commonly ones as they're going through so maybe the first couple of weeks of design they generate say all the washers that they may need but usually say if it's not in there the, what this will do is run through the scripts generate the part but it'll also save it into team center it'll give it its own item id number you can set it up to give it you know extra metadata information but you can see here i've got a you know, 44-0010, there's my new washer. Once it's generated, now anybody, not just me, anybody can go in and use your standard parts library since we're all sharing from the same, the same managed environment, we can reuse this bolt over and over again and there's no, there's no hassle on, you know, where it was you, I mean, if we're using it more than once, we're using it more than you know, twice, three times, things like that. It's already stored within the system. Uh, other things you can do and take advantage of, uh, one kind of one of the other things that we is reusing, uh, uh, using our feature library. So with our feature library, we can actually clone different components and different features that we have on particular parts or assembly. So in this particular instance, we can copy paste you know, we can copy and paste different features. We can actually save those within within Team Center. Say I wanted to use this standard Lego piece over and over again. I could actually save it off as another part or go ahead over here to my feature library, paste it in here, and reuse it over and over again if I need be. So kind of different ways we can utilize, you know, having Team Center, assigning Team Center ID numbers, everything using other applications to help us, you know, reuse the data that we already have inside our database. So if we go ahead and save this guy, got another example. So anytime you see a red globe inside, say, a Solid Edge or inside of NX, you're connected to or you have the ability of searching and navigating and interacting with Team Center via the Active Workspace module. So I have a a pre-prepared sample of NX. Let me go ahead and load it.